Hi, I'm Harrison Held, and I'm here with Herbie J. Pilato and Kathy Coleman from Hi. Land of the Lost. We had a great evening here. Herbie, you did a great job oh. interviewing her. <laughs> it was terrific. It was and it was so much fun hearing your stories. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was, um, it was nice of you all to listen. I, and sometimes I get a long, little long-winded, but Not at all. Um, I really enjoy sharing my stories with you. It's a lot of fun. It was terrific. And I'm looking forward to reading the book. And Herbie has such great taste in selecting people. Well, I mean, she was just, she meant so much to so many people, uh, to all of us growing up in the 70s. And, you know, now that the show is being a rerun, right, on Saturday mornings, it's a, a new generation. It's, back in, it's almost in its original time slot, almost, oh, right. a, a couple of hours early, but cool. it's back on Saturday mornings. It's on MeTV, so. Awesome. Yeah. What time? I think it's on at like 6.30. In the morning. Yeah, oh boy. yeah, but you know I what? It, you'd be you'd be amazed at how many people are actually up at that that ungodly hour. They are up and they are watching it because I hear it at all the shows I do. Yeah. They tell me we saw you on MeTV, you know. Right. So that's great. Yeah, yeah. I'm thrilled. To supermarket to get the pop tarts like I used to do. Yeah, yeah. To and the, the cocoa puffs. <laughs> <laughs> so can you talk about uh, your inspiration for writing the book? Well, you know, a lot of people, after I would just meet with them and they would talk to me, they would say, you know, you should write a book. It's almost like history repeating itself. They, When I was a kid, people used to say to my mother, you know, you should put her in the business. And eventually that came to pass. And people that kept saying, you should write a book someday, my Lord, you know, and eventually it just it happened. It's 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 not it's not a very easy thing either. Let me tell you, it's a it's a huge process. You had a lot of um, epiphanies that you wrote about in the book, from what I hear. Yeah, I had... Uh, you seem like a very spiritual person. Well, actually, those things that I, I call them life nuggets, those things I, I collected all throughout my life. I, I would get one and I put it in my pocket for safekeeping mm -hmm. for when it was time to use it or tell it or share it. And so a lot of those life nuggets... Um, appear in the book. Yeah, so that's chicken book nuggets. Right? Yeah, yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so can you talk a bit about your some of your books, Herbie? <laughs> well, I did, uh, you know, Lizzie Montgomery, of course, A Twitch Upon a Star, uh, which is her biography. And you were good friends with Elizabeth? I was, I was good friends with Elizabeth um, in 1989. Very, very special person. She used her persona uh, for the betterment of um, the, the world community. And in many ways, she was very similar Kathleen, uh, to you, um, she had a good heart, and, um, an open heart, very honest person, and I just loved her. So the other books, I know Erin. Oh, oh, Erin Murphy. Yeah, yeah I and she said she got my book and she read it, and she's dating somebody now that I grew up with, Moosey oh, Dreyer. Yeah. She's dating someone. She's married. No, no, oh. she's she's with Moosey, who is like a really good friend of mine. Oh, Moosey, his mother used oh. to be my agent and everything. Wow. So anyway. She goes, I read the book. I loved it, she said. And I was so glad you brought Elizabeth into your book. Awesome. So, yeah. Can you share a bit about that? Because that was a great anecdote. Oh, just that I met her at an NBC press party. And uh, like I said in the interview, that she was surrounded by all these men. And I just, I just was, I marveled at the way that she was able to make each and every one of those men that circled her each feel like it was all eyes on that one on them you know it's just a, she was just a really interesting interesting woman yeah she was yeah, magical she was magical yeah. really well thank you so much both oh, of you thank it you, was Harry. a great evening thank you're you. welcome thank you. and thanks for watching thanks.